I'm not worried about people like yourself that are educated, you know, in the in, in real facts that are choosing not to get it at the moment. Like I ain't worried about y'all because I know you're still masking. I know you're still distancing. I know you're still taking it all very seriously as far as like the protocols and outside your house is concerned. The people I'm concerned with are the people that just don't want to do vaccine at all on some dumb shit and still want to party with no mask on and breathe on each other and, you know, sweat it out and this, that and the other and just act like there's not a pandemic going on. You know what I'm saying? Like just because you're tired of it doesn't mean that it's not still happening. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's so crazy to me. So it's to really turn it like it was on some like pick side shit on the election. You know what I'm saying? Like on the, the first Donald Trump win, you know what I'm saying? It was America was really on some, you know, pick a side type shit. There, Fake like, news. You ain't even hear about the independent party running nobody basically that anybody could pay attention to. Is either you over here or you over there? Now it is so much pick a side that it's crazy. Like I, there's no point of even trying to talk to an anti-vaxxer because they're never going to hear you. You know what I mean? They just, they, they refuse to hear you. So, okay, live that life and enjoy not affected. being able to go to games or whatever. Until they're affected. Like Ted Nugent, Ted Nugent caught the COVID after telling everyone there's no COVID. He caught the COVID and, but he's still going, yo, don't take the vaccine. It's a not lot science. Of them. <laughs> yo, my man. There was a guy a guy just passed away from COVID who was throwing parties. You know what I'm saying? He was a COVID denier and he was throwing parties, caught COVID and passed away from it just recently. I, I read stories like that in the beginning of the pandemic, but these guys are still as hard headed doing that same shit, same outcome. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, this shit is real. I don't know. They, I, you think I want to deal with this shit? Why would I want to create a hoax? just for the sake of mask sales or <laughs> hand sanitizer. You know what I mean? Like I'm not invested in no mask company or no hand sanitizer oh, company. Kid. That's y'all. You're in the Illuminati though. Oh yeah. I'm way illuminated, but that doesn't <laughs> mean I'm invested in these corporations <laughs> that have these PPPs out. Like I've been invited to do so, but like that was after the fact, you know what I'm saying? I'm not grandfathered in to a situation to where it jumps off. I can profit from Got you. Got you. That's how the Illuminati works. You have to be already there to get the Illuminati benefits. Yeah. You can have the information, but you got to, you got to act on that information. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? That's what being illuminated is. They open the books and show you. You pick and choose what you want to be involved in. And then, of course, the mansion sex parties. But we'll get to all of that. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Next episode, guys. Next episode. <laughs> Next episode. Next episode. Tune in. But Tune back in. to the conspiracy theory, Keenan. <laughs> So the, the first theory was that they're giving you something in the vaccine, you know, nano bots, my, you know, Bill Gates, yeah. all that dumb shit. Right. Yeah. But my boy flipped that and he was like, what if it's not that they're giving you something? What if they're really inoculating you from something far worse and everyone else that hasn't taken it? They're going to hit you with some new shit and just get rid of all y'all. Yeah, I mean, because it, it's kind of real. The kind of people ain't taking it are kind of like dumb people and poor people. And then people like so me, they don't thing, really need like, anyway. If you think that COVID-19 was created, you know what I mean? And, 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 and exposed to the world on purpose, it's doing exactly what it was designed to do. You know what I mean? So there's a whole lot of like validity to that theory, basically, you know what I'm saying? Because it's damn near hundred percent like effective as far as being highly contagious, shutting the world down, killing a lot of people, this Mutating. and that and the other. So mutating all of that you know being hard to kill hard to get rid of so yeah i can understand how people would believe that this is a setup at the same time you know like if they wanted to do it that i, I just don't like it's so egregious you know what i'm saying that i no one will ever be able to admit that you know yeah we discovered finally that you know this you know uh, official was the guy who let it out to the world you know, like no country would be able to stand up to that kind of ridicule, you know, and take the blame for one person's action in their country or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? So if they were to develop something else and just wipe out, I don't think people would be able to live with it just because they were on the smart side of things, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I have a hard time believing that it was a setup necessarily. I know they create viruses and labs and all of that, but as far as how we got dumped out into the world, I don't really know. I don't have an answer because I, yeah, it's easy for me to believe that somebody dumped it out on purpose, but at the same time, nobody will ever admit to that. So what's the point of focusing on that? 
See, interesting. So basically, COVID nineteen is a setup, just like my boy you know, got set up you know by that 19, girl to get herpes. Basically, a thousand percent. But wow. you know the nineteen, right? It's not a random number. That means there's eighteen previous versions of that. They've been developing these things and making them harder. Thought that too, but I believe that's this, that's been dispelled as well. I don't know why Has it's it been dispelled? Yeah, I think I mean, I, that well, was our theory too. Like, yo, I mean, like trying to get on the autumn the, conspiracy the theory correlates to something to else, like a whole. Okay, cool. Well, you know. It's 18. The they tried to motherfucking kill us 18 yeah. times. They tried <laughs> on the middle passage on the you know plantation. What I'm they they all tried. This is number 19. Kool Aid. Yeah. Kool they all tried many times. Sugar. Yes. All of that. Graba. Don't put graba in your in your weed, guys. Don't put graba in your weed. You're killing yourself. What is graba? Hey, yo, Negroes are so backwards. It hurts me, bro. So we managed to escape the blunt. Right. It's either right. you smoke backwards or you don't smoke blunts at all. You smoke joints. But that Negroes are awful. so hustling backwards that they found Graba, which is basically broken down tobacco, like tobacco <laughs> leaf that's dried out and broken down. And then they take it and they put it in their joints now. Why? Because they're backwards. I don't like it. Yeah, because they're backwards. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's why. That's why. That's COVID-19, man. They've been trying to kill us 18 times. <laughs> try to kill us 18 times that's basically right. what happened they try to get us but they won't get us they won't get us we'll we'll be good we'll be we'll be very good very very good stay um, smart man come on bro you know I'm, I'm out here you know what i'm saying stay on top of the science yes not just you know just stay on top of the science and not just information passed from familiar people you know what i'm saying like stay on top of the science for real, for real. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. So here we go. Let's go. Let's move it. Fuck Derek Chauvin. He's guilty on all three on three charges. We hope the motherfucker goes under the jail. They put him in protective custody to keep him away from real criminals. But they need to put him with the Latin Kings and Bloods and let him understand what it's like on that yard. Let him feel that yard, man. It's so funny how they want to like use our taxpayer money to protect these criminals. The same way they tried to like. They spent how much money on that, on like fence in that lady's house that shot Dante? You know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's taxpayer money. They throwing fences up and all this extra shit to protect her house. Fuck that.